We heard some encouraging news today about the battle against one of the cruelest diseases. There's a new clue to the mystery of how Alzheimer's disease spreads in the brain. We wanted to know more about it, so we asked Jim Axelrod to look into this. Researchers have long wondered how Alzheimer's ravages the brain, whether it develops independently in different parts of the brain or starts in one area and spreads, as suggested in a new study co-authored by Dr. Scott Small of Columbia University. If the spread idea is right, it would mean you might be able to prevent the spread and progression of Alzheimer's, which is really quite interesting. Brains of people with Alzheimer's contain tangles of a protein called tau, thought to play a role in memory loss. Researchers genetically engineered mice with tau in their brains and then mapped its spread over 22 months. As the mice aged, tau spread from cell to cell, destroying them as it moved. And there's now uh, an, an appreciation that tau, at the very least, is this sort of executioner. It's the, it's the abnormality that really results in cell death and cell dysfunction. Study co-author Karen Duff says the findings raise hope for new therapies that would block tau. We are fascinated by the idea that it can spread from cell to cell, and that allows us actually a whole range of interventions that can catch it as it's leaving one cell and into another. Could this be a new therapy? We asked Dr. William Thies, the chief medical officer at the Alzheimer's Association. That might be a useful therapeutic pathway, but there are many steps that has to come before you're actually going to get to a useful product that could be used to treat human disease. Dr. Thies says it could take five more years of research before any conclusions can be drawn. And Scott, one red flag, there have been many approaches to fighting Alzheimer's that seemed to work in mice but didn't translate to humans. Clearly much more research is needed, but that's not dimming any hope of the scientists tonight. Jim, thank you very much.